hey we were looking at the long division method and i have a few examples here for you so let's try and divide x cube minus 1 by x minus 1 so these are the two polynomials that are given to us and we have to divide x cube minus 1 by x minus 1 so the first step is to identify which one of these is a dividend so the first one is always the dividend while the second one is always the divisor okay so do you remember what was the first step yes the first step was to check whether both the polynomials are in the standard forms or not let's see so x cube minus 1 hence the highest power of x is on the leftmost and then followed by the decreasing powers so this one the dividend is in its standard form now let's look at the divisor what was the divisor x minus 1 again we see that x is the leftmost and has the highest exponent of x or the variable hence x minus 1 is also in its standard form now let me just draw the long division symbol here and we'll get started so I write the dividend that is x cube minus 1 here and I write the divisor that is x minus 1 here now what was the second step do we remember the second step yes it was dividing the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor to give us the first term of the quotient perfect so x cube would be divided by x and this would give us x square right so x square would be the first term of the quotient x square now what was the third step the third step was to multiply this particular x square that is the first term of the quotient by the complete divisor so x square into x would give me x cube and x square into minus 1 would give me minus x square correct then I would just subtract this particular expression from the dividend and I would get this would be minus x cube and this would change to plus x square x cube minus x cube would get cancelled and what I would be left with is minus x square I don't see any term having x square in this particular dividend so I can just bring this down and I would have positive x square and I have minus 1 left unaltered and I'll bring that down as well so I would have plus x square minus 1 as the new dividend and again I'll do the same steps I will divide x square that is the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor here that is x so that would be x square over x that is x or positive x so the next term of the quotient would be plus x correct and the next step would be to multiply this plus x with x minus 1 that would give me positive x square and x multiplied with negative 1 would be negative x again when I subtract these signs would change and I would get x square x minus x square would get cancelled and I don't see a term with x in the dividend here so I'd be left with x positive x because of the sign change and minus 1 which was the unaltered term that I had now this is the new dividend and let's look at what is the next step again we'll divide the first term of the new dividend that is x by the first term of the divisor that is x again now x by x is nothing but 1 positive 1 so the next term of the quotient would be plus 1 
okay now when plus 1 is multiplied with the divisor right here that is x minus 1 i would get the same thing as the divisor that would be x minus 1 and when i subtract x minus 1 from x minus 1 what would i be left with this would get cancelled also minus 1 and plus 1 would also get cancelled and i'll be left with nothing or 0 so the remainder here is 0 okay and what was the quotient quotient was x square plus x plus 1 this here is the quotient so in the previous videos we've seen that when we get 0 as the remainder what does that mean that just means that x minus 1 is a factor of x cube minus 1 x minus 1 is a factor of x cube minus 1 and I can also say that this particular expression x cube minus 1 can be written as a product of two polynomials that are x minus 1 multiplied with x square plus x plus 1 that is the quotient here so this quotient multiplied with this divisor would give me this whole dividend just when the remainder is 0 so I see that this is a cool relationship that I've got and this is one of the identities that we'll study later in this chapter but in the meantime let's just look at another example really quickly I hope we've understood how to divide one polynomial by another let's look at an example where the dividend has a degree of 4 that means if I have a polynomial 4 y to the power 4 minus 3 y cube plus y square minus y plus 3 now here this is the dividend and this has to be divided by let's say y plus 1 let's see what do we get let's just start by checking whether the polynomials are in their standard forms or not this one it is because y4 followed by y cube followed by y square followed by y followed by y to the power 0 hence it is arranged in its standard form similarly if you look at the divisor y to the power 1 followed by y to the power 0 so let's just start our division I'll write the dividend here that is 4y to the power 4 minus 3y cube plus y square minus y plus 3 now it is divided by y plus 1 first step to check whether they are in their standard forms or not yes they are second step is to divide the first term of the dividend by that of the divisor that is 4y to the power 4 divided by y that is nothing but 4y cube so the first term of the quotient would be 4y cube and I multiply this 4y cube by this particular divisor here the complete thing and I would get 4y to the power 4 plus 4y cube when I subtract I would get minus 7y cube and I'll just bring this down plus y square minus y plus 3 now this is a new dividend and I'll do the same thing all over again so minus 7 y cube divided by y that is nothing but minus 7 y square so the next term is negative 7 y square when I multiply minus 7 y square with this particular divisor polynomial I would get minus 7 y cube and minus 7 y square into plus 1 would be minus 7 y square when I subtract this would be plus this would be plus again this would get cancelled and I would have plus 7 y square plus y square or 8 y square minus y plus 3 I just get that down 
then again when I divide 8 by square by y I would have 8y as the next term so it would be plus 8y and I multiply I'd have 8y square plus 8y on subtracting this would be negative and I would have minus 8y minus y or minus 9y plus 3 that has been brought down now again minus 9y would be divided by y and I would have minus 9 as the next term of the quotient that is minus 9 and I would get minus 9 y minus 9 on subtracting I'd be left with plus 9 plus 3 that is 12 now when I have 12 here let me just check if I can divide 12 by y no it's not possible so 12 here is the remainder and the quotient that I got was 4y cube minus 7y square plus 8y minus 9 and the divisor here was y plus 1. I hope we are clear about how to do the long division with polynomials. They might be a bit lengthy at times but they are fun to do. Now finally we will look at the remainder theorem in the next video. Enjoy. Bye.